so this is a book review, kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of, more like book recommendation. So, there was a movie, it's, um, I don't know if it's gonna be backwards, it's probably not gonna be backwards. Um, this is the first one, there was a movie, it was really bad, um, wouldn't recommend it. But the book is really good. Um, the first time I read this, I was like in fifth grade. Fifth grade. Um, took me like I was super into it, super, super into it, like reading it all the time. I didn't have friends, so it took me like a week, maybe. Um, I don't have the the second one, the Speaker for the Dead. That one is really cool. I don't have it with me right now, but I read it. Um same author, all that stuff. It's a continuation. It's, it was kind of complicated when I read it, and I reread it later on, more recently, um, and it made more sense, because the first one was really basic, the second one was a little more complicated, and then there's eight of these. Um, I haven't read all eight, but the third one, um, I started a couple years ago, <laughs> like two years ago, um, and I got, I got, like, do you see the line? It's like right here. This is the this is the end part, and this is the beginning part. I got pretty far, um, but um, I think I had to write a paper or something for school, and so I got really busy, and then I didn't read it for a bit, and I totally forgot what happened. And then a year passed, um, so I'm planning on rereading it at some point. But then it doesn't happen. So, and then I own the fourth one. Um, have never started it. Um, it's the smallest out of the three because the first one is like one finger digit. The second one is a little more than a finger digit. Or like it's like two finger digits. And then the no, this is not the second one. This is the third one. And then the fourth one is um, less than a finger digit. Figure digit, I don't think, is a term of measurement, type of term type. I don't know, it's not a form of measurement, so. What else am I reading? I don't think I'm really reading anything else. Don't get mad, but, um, well, like, you can get mad or whatever, I don't care. But don't make fun of me for being excited about the new Twilight book. Because I was super into that. When the first Twilight came out, I was, like, little, I think. When did it? I, I don't have my phone, so. I feel like it was 2008. Maybe that was the movie. Otherwise. Wait. Well, in 2008, I was little, so. I waited and read them later on. But I was super into them when I first read them, and I own not the flex, but mm, that was I don't like that. I own a Blu-ray of all the movies, and I've I've seen it quite a few times. It's like once, at least once every year. I just get the urge to watch them all. And plus, since I'm stuck inside, um, a new book like that probably a good idea. But the sad part is, it doesn't come out until August, so it's not really actually gonna be very helpful on that front. You guys want to see out my window? Let me show you out my window. This is where you were sitting. This is the open part of my window. It's really nasty. That's ibuprofen, so don't pick it. Um, there's a flag over there. Um, there's a, you can't really see. Ah, there we go. That's a card my mom addressed to me. Um, this is all our yard. We have a backyard too. Um, but yeah. So that was my yard tour. Um, am I reading anything else? Um, well I guess I'm kind of skimming this. Um, this is Piers Anthony, The Horse of Magic. Um, I read it with my dad a little when I was really young. 
it was cool, so I thought about reading it again. So I read a couple chapters like a month ago. I've been looking at it a little bit here and there since. I think it's a series. It's got a cool dragon. Mm. Um, this is in my room. It's an eyebrow brush. Only making eye contact with myself. Um, this is what I used to do my eyebrows. Ooh, I have a llama pen. It's not really though. It doesn't have a cap, which is weird. This is my guitar. Pals. I keep looking at myself, sorry. It's kind of rude. Uh. Oh, this is cool. Um. I have this, um, it's a snow globe. Well, that was a dumb idea because now you can't see the inside. You tap it to adjust the. When it settles, you'll see that there's like a little golden Eiffel Tower on the inside. I'll set it down to let it settle. But my sister got that for me when she went to. Okay, now I messed up the lighting. Damn. My sister got that for me when she went to Paris. Um, I think she got it from the gift shop at the catacombs. I'm not sure though. There's a bag somewhere. She went a year ago maybe? See? It's a tiny Eiffel Tower. These short little... Oh, I hate my nails. It's utilitarian. I think that's the right word. I took one art class. Okay, so... Or can I think that before I fall? That's that far. I can lean back that far. This is my toes. This is a friendship bracelet. It's really loose now. Ooh, cool story. Um, I love these jeans. You can't really see them, but I love these jeans. Um. It's not really a story, but I love these jeans. I got them from a Goodwill, which is kind of basic, but I got them from a Goodwill. I think they were like Liz Claiborne, which is like super mass produced and whatever, but they're really comfy and it's like really nice quality denim, so I like it. What else? This was the um, ColourPop eyebrow gel I used to use, but it dried out and then I never got any more. Ooh. Um, this is a dollar from the Bahamas. It says one dollar, Central Bank of the Bahamas. It has a guy on it. And then some politician, I assume. He's kind of cool looking. Well, he's doing like a weird smile. I got that when we went to the Bahamas last summer. Last summer we went to the Bahamas and Yellowstone. I don't think I have any Yellowstone stuff laying around though. Ooh. Not a Yellowstone thing, but this is my boyfriend. It's a school picture, so he looks a little weird. But it's my boyfriend. Um This is my um, terrarium. It's growing stuff. There's dirt on the sides, you can't really see. Maybe if I unscrew it, I'll take you inside. So this is the inside. It used to be like way shorter, and it was just basic moss. That was bad. Here. You can pretend. POV. You're in the terrarium. That's a leaf. 
I wish it would focus better. Yeah. Okay, but yeah. I'm super proud of it. I probably need to score it. See? Terraria. Oh my god, focus. Yeah, Terraria. And the way that I um keep it moist is I make sure if it's starting to have less condensation on the outside of the glass. I don't know if this is the right thing to do, but it's how I've been doing it and it hasn't died and it's just been growing. So what I did was I got it from this pond down out by our horse pasture. We don't have horses, but my grandpa does and he grazes my side story anyway. Um, so there's this pond there and by the pond is where we got the moss, my sister and I. And so I just took this, I took this spray bottle and I filled it up with water from the pond and it has a bunch of like pond stuff in it but I feel like it's probably good for the moss because that's where the moss came from you know so I'm gonna do it a little now because it's getting a little dry it's not coming out come on you hear that right like it's not coming out Is it twisted it. What is happening? Oh! Got it! Also spilled pond water on my bed. Although, um little secret between us um I do currently have some ants bed adjacent because I ate an apple the other day and left it I left it for like a day and still got ants they claim they climb into my window because there's a tiny hole in like where the screen meets the window from when I tried to put it back on and didn't get a flush. Um, so. Oh no. I just knocked over my cactus. ERB. Okay, cactus solved. Not really solved, but like picked up a little. Um, what else do I have in my room? Oh, this is a, this is a fun story. I wouldn't actually say fun because it's kind of sad, but um, my great aunt lived next door to my grandma for a really long time, and she had she always had like show so her stove would be there, and then her stove was against the wall, and on the top of her stove there was this little ledge, and she would just have all these figurines lined up. I have a giraffe from there too, but I have all these I don't know what they're called, like Yorkies or whatever. Like here's the mama, and then I have this standing baby. And the laying down one. And a sitting one. So they're really cute. And they all hang out together. I think my grandma has one of them by himself, which is so sad. He's away from his family. But by himself on her mantle now. Because when my great aunt passed away, we all kind of picked up the house. And I got to keep it just off. But. What else? Ooh. These are kind of kind of cool, I guess. These are woman cards. And they're, it's like a deck of cards. And then it just has a bunch of, like, famous ladies, I guess. So, the ace is Hillary Clinton. Trying to, trying to get it to focus. Well, you, you know her name. It's fine. Um, the two is Sally Ride, astronaut lady. Um, the Joker is Betty White. There's two Jokers, Betty White and Ellen DeGeneres, which I don't, I don't trust Ellen. She seems kind of shady, honestly. Like, I'm sure she's nice, but it seems like she kind of participates in, like, gotcha journalism, you know? 
but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know her personally. I'd... Yeah, I know Ellen. My grandma likes her. Which is funny because my grandma doesn't like any other gay people, but... my watch list of movies like I feel like a lot of people have like that list on their like notes app or their phone or something where they like they'll see a preview for a movie or they'll hear about a movie or they'll see like a picture yeah what's wrong um and then they'll add it to their list I feel like I just keep adding to my list and never like actually watching anything on my list like I just rewatch tv shows or like you know so I've been trying to cross stuff off my list it's just like like it's not happening so because if i'll watch i watch a shit ton of movies um what did i watch the other day nevertheless Ooh, i just got a text so this is a side story now um i've decided I've decided, I'm going to have to enhance this audio for you, but I'm whispering right now. I've decided that I'm going to give myself, I'm going to give myself a tattoo. It's going to be like right there. It's going to be a little star. Not that big, but you know. Um, you know, I've weighed the pros and cons and I've decided that I'm going to give myself a tattoo. Because, you know. You know, but my friend just texted me about, because I was trying to get some ink, and she got some for me, so that was, thanks, shout out to you. Best, best person I play ball with, I guess. Um, what was I talking about? It's only been four minutes. Oh no, but I kept stopping, because I knocked stuff over. So it's probably been longer than that so I'm gonna call it good I think I think it's good cuz I kind of started as a book review but then I didn't talk about the books like at all and then I just started showing you some in my room bye